It's the mayor. Welcome to Show Face News. But call me what you want, just don't call me woke. And you're not rocking with the town favorite Show Face News. It's Big Gotham. And you already know it's the town versus everybody at all times. Check it out, y'all. So, yes, yesterday DJ Academics' account disappeared off of Instagram. Where is it? All right. He has two other accounts as well the Academy account and the other Academics account. Now, from what I see, DJ Academics said on his second account that he was being spammed with multiple comments saying OV Ho, which is obviously a lyric or a chant from the Kendrick Lamar diss track named Not Like Us Dissing Drake. Okay? That's what he said, all right? They continuously spam his comments. Why did this happen? Well, I'm just gonna say that the OVO moles, and yes, I said moles, because there's multiple moles, are spamming academics because academics went and threatened them on his last live stream, okay? On his last live stream, he said he was going to continuously, continuously violate and make their lives miserable because they tried to sue him for defamation because he said that they stole items that Drake discarded at the hotel, okay? Now, this all seems like that's what happened, all right? That's the reason why Academics lost his main account because of the OVO moles. But truth be told, Academics is being sued by someone else, yes. Rolling Stone said DJ Academics is being sued for grape and defamation. Yeah. For Zaya Abash claims that she was assaulted multiple times at the internet personality's home, first by two men who drugged her and then by Academics himself. Now, this may sound like new information, but this is actually old information. Now, the girl, Zaya, all right, she actually has made a video months ago saying she was coming for academics. I look crazy right now, but I'm not gonna stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like we didn't know each other for two years, you tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. You hit me too, and a test, a hit was done. You know what? I'm gonna come back with my own story. Is this what you wanted, you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. Now, academics claim that he already dealt with the situation with police, showed them surveillance, and it came back that she was not raped or assaulted in any way. But now she's coming back to do a lawsuit. Now, when celebrities catch lawsuits, what happens is usually one of their social media accounts will get shut down, and that first would be an Instagram account. So, this Instagram account has to come down because that's what happens when there's a lawsuit against you. Your Instagram must come down, which is the real reason why his Instagram is down. Now, more details on this lawsuit. DJ Academics is facing a new lawsuit accusing him of rape, sexual assault, and defamation. The lawsuit was filed by Fazaya Zaya Abash, who dated the internet personality real name Livingston Allen after meeting him online in 2021. Abash alleges that on July 16, 2022, Allen contacted her and invited her to his house in New Jersey, not suspecting any ill intentions, even though they allegedly hadn't seen each other for almost a year. When Abash arrived, however, she was met by two men identified identified as John Doe 1 and John Doe 2, whom she did not expect to be there. Abash claims the two men drugged her drink and plotted her with alcohol before assaulting and graping her on Allen's pool deck. Abash says the drugs impacted her memory and caused her to lose consciousness according to the suit. She claims she was later woken up at around 4 a.m. July 17, 2022 in a bedroom by Allen who was pulling her hair, prying open her legs and brutally graping her. She claims Abash accuses Allen of penetrating her. Oh man, I can't even say this. Penetrating her in different sections, okay? And says she was begging him to stop and crying for most of the assault, but losing her ability to move physically. The following day, according to the lawsuit, Abash asked Allen for details about what happened the previous night. He allegedly showed her a trash can that contained two condom wrappers, which suggested that Abash, that after an alleged pool deck attack, the two John Doe's had taken her into another room in the house and continued to grape her brutally. Abash also claimed that Allen showed her surveillance footage of the alleged pool deck attack. 
according to Miss Abash. And she watched the video. She looked like she was just lying there lifeless, what which she did not sit which did not sit right with her. The suit reads. According to text messages, including in the lawsuit later that day on July 17th, Allen told Abash to get tested and said she would do the same. Abash said she found the statement odd, and the suit arranges that the text was proof that Allen, who had not slept with Miss Bash with Miss Bash over a year, engaged in unprotected sexual intercourse with her that night. Allen did not reply to a request for comment for this article. After contacting her lawyer for advice, Abash went to the police. The authorities first told her to visit a hospital for a grape kit, which she did. The kit reportedly led to the discovery of traces of Allen's sperm, she claims. Abash then spoke with the authorities in person and photographs were taken of bruises on Abash's arm, back, buttocks, and legs. Abash also sat for a recorded wire call with Allen, during which she claimed Allen graphically recounted and admitted to having sexual intercourse with her, even going as far as to describe her V. This led to the cops to obtain a warrant for surveillance footage and other evidence. Abash later claimed that Allen disposed of several items, bed sheets, etc., at the dumpster near his office. Presumably, Mr. Allen was attempting to destroy the evidence of Miss Abash's grape. Now, look, gang. There's even more to this article that I'm not gonna get into because I'm not gonna read y'all to death, but y'all pretty much get the picture. Now, academics actually spoke about this on his, uh, what's that, For the Record podcast? Yeah, I think that's what it's called, For the Record or something about a record. That's his podcast, but he went on there and talked about the situation verbatim, how it went down. Listen, I want y'all to hit the like button, share the video as y'all look at that footage. Look, it's the mayor. I refuse to give out that girl's name. Okay, so she, um, so it's the nighttime, whatever, whatever. Um, I remember saying like, damn, what was y'all doing when I was sleeping type? She was like, oh shit, now nah, we were just having fun, blah, 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 blah. Now granted, this is a girl who I've been dealing with for a couple years. I've messed with her for years. Um, when she came over that time, she had told me she was like a dancer or some shit like that, you know what I mean? And I remember, and I don't know if maybe my niggas took it the wrong way, because I remember she had told me, she was like, yo, the girl you used to know, like, I'm on my, like, I'm on some bad girl vibes now, type shit. Basically, she be like, doing her thing. And I remember I told him, I'm like, yo, oh, this is before when I was going to the party, I was like, yo, I'm about to get this girl coming over later for me. But she, she told me she on some different vibes. I don't know if that's what they took, and, and, and I can't really speak to other niggas' thing. I can only speak to myself. All right, but cool. We're in the morning now. We're in the morning, and once the morning happened, and I remember even that night, like that night when she woke up, I was going in my backyard, and I'm like, something don't look right back here. I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, what was y'all doing when I was sleeping type shit? Cause I know, like, if you, nigga, I live in my crib, Dolo, nigga. Like, don't get no ideas, but Dolo, nigga, like, nigga, I know when my, I know the the chair, the tan is right there. I know this is right there, and I'm like, I go in the backyard. I'm like, why this is over there? Why this is over there? This shit, no sense. So I, I asked her, and she was like, Nah, we were just having fun type. Shit. She told me tonight, in the morning, I gotta let my dog out, so I go let Pluto out. And when I go let Pluto out, I'm now outside standing. I'm like looking around. I'm like, man, this shit look right. Here's the thing: I got cameras everywhere in my crib, and this is this is the reason why y'all gonna realize the raid. Yeah, this is the raid, the cameras, and this is like I'm telling y'all now that y'all can hear the whole story. Bet. So now I'm sitting there. This is the morning. I'm looking around. I'm like, what the fuck? I know my backyard. Something ain't right. She's telling me they were just chilling, having fun, waiting for me type shit. But I'm sleeping, and I'm sleeping from like 9, 8, 9 p.m. since I got in the crib, and they don't wake me up till 4 a.m. That's how many hours? Seven hours. Okay. Anyway, remember, when she told me the night before, I'm believing it. But the day, but, but in the morning, I'm looking around when I'm in Pluto. I'm like, son, don't sound right. I go on my, I, I go on my, I go on my, my, my my camera, I go to my, my, my DVR, I, I'm looking what's going on. Gang, this is facts, and I'm not trying to make her look crazy, and I'm not trying to put her in no type of weird position, this is reality. Brother, this is a girl who I've been dealing with for like two years on and off. We not steadily, like we, we were like, you know, hang out, hang out, hang out, not really hang out, hang out, hang out, hang out, not really hang out, that type of shit. feel me? She ain't, she, she's actually a, like a really good girl. Like, gives like really nice energy, like not one of them like sexy red type turns, like not to disrespect her either. When I look at my camera in the morning, 
Gang. The shorty was getting like I, I don't even I don't even like the, the, she was getting trained by my two bands. Like on my pool deck the night before when I'm sleeping. I'm dead ass. This is what happened. Nigga, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what? Nigga, I invited you over here. I paid a lift. The lift was like 200 bucks. Nigga, she lived. I don't even want to say where she lived. I'm like, what? How could you come to my joint and get trained by my mans while I'm sleeping? Now, this is where I'm going to be honest with you. Men, y'all going to learn this lesson from me. Men, I want y'all to learn this lesson from me. And I will say this and tears might come in my eye when I say this to you. You could get penalized for being a good guy. The story now becomes... Uh, oh, oh, what? Oh, I didn't know that when she apologized. She's like, yo, you got to believe me. Like, yo, I, like, I would have never did that. Like, yo, I'm so sorry. I would have never disrespected you like that. Like, yo, I came here for you, this and third. Anyway, my mama had to come that day. Like, on some real shit and bullshit. My mama was coming to my crib. So it's not only, like, usually when that girl comes to my crib, she stays a couple days. Like, I ain't even bullshit. She usually come stay a couple days, bring clothes. But my mama was coming that day, so it wasn't because I was salty. And, you know, if y'all don't believe that, y'all believe that. But that's really what it was. So I told her, I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, yo, you gotta go, yo. So she's looking at me like, damn. And she said this. She said, damn, yo, you mad cold with me right now. She's like, usually you get me breakfast and shit. Like, why are you so cold? And I'm like, nah, my mama got come in here like, yo, you gotta go. Bro, she's automatically, like, looking at me like, oh, sh Oh, you really thinking? So she's apologizing like, yo, I believe me, I'm not that type of girl, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and, and we're going to get to the rate. I call her car. She leaves. She calls me in the car. She says, yo, I'm sorry. I don't want you to ever think I'm that type of girl. I came there to hang out with you. Like, and she even said this verbatim. Why would I come there and your friends and not you? Why would I come there and him instead of you? Like, like, come on. Like, does it make sense? Like, now, this is her apologizing. Cool. When she gets home, and I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the, I think, I promise, I, I honestly, to this day, I, I still think I fuck by doing this. Because I'm shaming her now. I'm shaming her. I said to her, I said, yo, I'm gonna keep it a being with you, bro. When you came to my house and had two niggas just raw, I ain't seen no condom, no nothing. I told her, I said, yo, you should go get tested, man. Like, you done, I said, that's why, yo, you should go get tested, bro. And, from that moment, she started like because she, the denial shifted, and she kept like trying to like pivot on the denial to, yo, not nah, send me the video, yo, I'm pretty sure I didn't, and I'm like, bro, you, and she's like, no, 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 look again, and I, now I'm getting super tight because I'm like, bro, I'm not about to watch this video if you getting, nigga, like it's on my surveillance, like, bro, like I was fucked, you like, what, I'm gonna watch the video if you get, cool, she keeps saying that, whatever, whatever, she then tells me. By the way, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm gonna keep it a being about everything. My homies did not tell me they f At that point, I only seen on my security camera. My Jordy now says to me, Jordy now says to me, um, yo, I'm gonna keep it, keep it a being with you. Like, I really don't believe I would really do that. I'm not that type of person. Yo, you right, I should go get tested. Remember, I told her to get tested, right? I think, and that's what I said, like, maybe I fuck by like, cause now I'm making her seem nasty, right? Like, yo, go get tested, what the f she said, yeah, I'm gonna get tested and yo, you know what? I'm gonna get a kit. I'm like, yo, yo, get a kit. Like, so good. Like, yo, whatever, I, whatever you got going. But she keeps asking me, like, yo, like, are you sure what happened after this? How did both of the guys get there instead of one? Cause I remember talking to him, but I remember the other guy. And I'm like, bro, I'm not watching this. So now I'm getting, I'm getting the fence. I ain't watching that shit on game. I'm not watching this shit. Okay. That's the last time I talked to her. The next time I talked to her, she asked me one random day, like three days later, yo, could I get your friend's names and numbers? Oh, shit. Bro, you still trying to, like, I say, yo, you fucked them. You can't get their name and number? Why the f do you mean to get their name and number? I don't know. Like, come on, bro. Why you keep asking my niggas? You don't. Yo, could I get their names and numbers? Bro, I say, you know, because she keep wanting to say, I want to know what exactly what happened. Do you sure nobody used the condom? I said, bro, from the video I seen, I ain't seen them niggas use a condom type shit. By the way, here's the thing, like, for the guys who's watching, this is what being a good guy gets you. Because I could have acted like nothing happened. 
I could have just talked it to the game, which I probably should have. Thought about this a million times. I really think that me making her feel some shame made all this happen. She said, yo, I want to see the video. I'm, I am keep telling her, I'm not going to keep watching the video where you're my friend. You were supposed to be fucking me. Okay. She asked me for my, my friend's names or whatever. I said, yo, you know, I'm going to give you my man's number. I said, whatever you want to know about that night, he fuck you. You go talk to him. When I get home, I was coming from my studio. And when I get home, 20 minutes after I get home, that's when the raid happened. My mama's screaming. She She's saying, get the gun. I'm looking on my shit. I can see it's police. I put my gun away. I locked the other way, gun, guns away. They put me, my mom, Cheyenne, and Cuss. They bring me down to the station. I don't know, at this point, I don't know what it's about. They're asking me about the situation. Yo, what's what, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you why they did the raid and why they did the search warrant on my crib. And this is another thing. Yo, after that, bro, like even to this day, right now, I, I paid $4,000 for an apartment I don't go to. I got an apartment right now, I do not go to. Because I refuse to bring people back to my crib. I'm gonna tell you why. The reason why they did that search warrant, the reason why they kicked the door off my, 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 they kicked my door off. Well, obviously my mom didn't open the door. It was just did what they had to do. But they kicked it off because they felt like my mom, you know, like a stall or some shit. The reason why they did that is because Shorty went to the cops and the cops reading and listening to her side of the story, they're saying, oh yeah, Shorty got R-worded Academics got the tape, it's at his house, but he don't want to give up the tape. So that's their whole mentality. Act don't want to give up the tape. Everything is on my house is documented on tape. So they kicked my door off, took all my cell phones, took my DVR, and then they bring it down to the station. Also, here's the thing. Everybody knows me in my life, like where I'm from. I'm like the popular nigga in my town. So now, they bring it down there. Nigga, they even call me. I said, uh, like, because at first I was so big. I don't even know what was going on. By the way, I get like, and I'll tell you the truth, it's a fact. My nigga, I'm a, I'm a rich nigga, expensive nigga. My nigga, I spent 100,000. I, I got a $100,000 retainer on a lawyer and I, and I never got charged with nothing. But they serve a search warrant on my crib. So they serve a search warrant and they, they, they interrogated me. So I got the best lawyer known to man. I get that lawyer. We're trying to figure out what's going on. They're like, oh, we're investigating this sexual assault, alleged sexual assault. Long story short, and this is why Shorty, who thinks she got something over my head, bro, it's clear as day on tape. You feel me? Matter of fact, I, I still think the, the, the county got my DVR because I just got a new DVR. Um, by the way, they sent me all the time, like, yo, act you good, like, they nothing, nothing with you, like, you're straight. And here's the thing, my friends, who's on the tape, girl, they didn't get charged. It was like, yo, hey, listen, there isn't enough evidence that showcased that you didn't want to So the niggas didn't get charged. They raided my crib because it happened, and, and, and this is what the lesson I was trying to tell the niggas. In the middle of this, because it happened at my house. I don't want to bring up or I want to say nothing about the young woman because she knows initially I was the person who she didn't even like according to what she's saying she didn't even knew no shit happened that night and I brought it to her attention like yo bro I think you should go get tested like shit I see what I seen on the camera like, but um yeah y'all this is crazy I mean listen just know when celebrities get hit with any type of lawsuits especially with this their Instagram must be taken down that's just how it goes I guess this is the law for Instagram Facebook because they're all connected I don't know but they take it down Instagram is taken down can they get the account back sure they could you know I guess after the fact but yeah the gram is down for now champs uh, he'll eventually get it back up but yeah he's in the middle of a lawsuit you know according to you know um, Livingston Allen DJ Academics he says look this was already solved by police and police said look this was already you know we seen the footage and this is not what it was it looks consensual so yeah yeah it's it's crazy man but hey what do y'all think about all this <laughs> let me know the man says this yeah gang you're having trouble and you're not only gonna get sued once by her but the moles are gonna sue you as well because you said that you were going to harass them champ yeah 
not looking so good for academics right now, but you let me know how you feel in the comments about all this, all right? But gang, it's the mayor. The one and only real New York Mayor F. Eric Adams, and you're rocking with the town favorite show face news. It's Big Gotham, and you already know it's the town versus everybody in old times. Make sure you like the video, share the video, but subscribe to show face news now.